It's so dark. It's so dark. So, I taped my cutting mat to a piece of wood because uh, it's too floppy. Uh, I sprayed glued this, and this is aluminum aluminium foil, 25 microns thick. And as you can see, it has a backing of um, PE, I think it is. And I sprayed glued this part as well. Although I forgot where it exactly was, I think here. So I hope I can like. Oop. And higher it is. If I had a smaller roller, I could uh, like put more, you know, force on it, uh, but I don't. That's funny. You can see even the lines through the aluminium, so they're slightly raised. So it is quite good adhesion, apparently, because I can see these white lines through the foil, and I'm pretty sure you cannot see through the foil. So it is. Nicely at higher. So, and this looks weird. The backing foil is on the back side, so it's actually at higher to the backing foil of this aluminum. Aluminium, Jesus, I've uh, become an American. Um, so, the idea is as follows I'll cut the pattern and then I'll grab some masking tape or you got this kind of big rolls of tape you use for uh, wrapping in books students do this uh, so the books uh, remain nice because in the Netherlands far, far often uh, middle school or it's probably high school that no I don't know but you you rent the books because they're like used for like I don't know for instance 10 years but you only need it one year so to buy them every time is uh, wasteful. So you can use the books, and you can send them back at the end of the year, and you get a sort of a refund for it. But only if they're good, or you sell them to another student, that's possible as well. But uh, you will use paper or this plastic stuff to put the, the books in, so they remain nice. You can get it off easily afterwards. And then the book itself is in a neat condition. At least that's what I did. I hated that work every year. But and I never used the plastic stuff, but because I could imagine you might not get it off, and then you rip some of the stuff, which looks more worse than just use paper and a piece of tape. Uh, so if something got destroyed, it's the the paper outside. And you could redo that, or as usual, give, don't give a fuck. But uh, yeah, so this is on. Uh, now I have to put it in the shed, which is cold. And also, it's the day before New Year's, and I still have to do a lots, lots of other crap. Like you know, I hate these days. Like oh, I have to get this beverage and this ice and. Then they ha have a party and do uh, like presents and such, so I have to get something and also dinner. So it's nice that everyone takes along something to eat. I'm too tired to do all this shit, but who knows? Uh, anyhow, I am gonna do this because I'm god I'm curious if it works. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm gonna use this tape to transfer this to the actual uh, miler. Uh, and the actual miler is the, the big guns as they are. So I'm probably gonna rip the 40 micro, or what is it? Yeah, 40 micron uh, aluminium tape that's on there that I did like only a few weeks ago. 
but I already told you, these panels, I am going to abuse them to test stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's go outside. Yippee yay! Yeah, yeah. This is the material I want to use to transfer in. I'm not sure if it works, but something beeps. I hear a high frequency pitched, high pitched sound. So, um, I assume these are centimeters, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's make it eight. It's probably too big. Let's make it seven. No, let's make it eight. I mean, I know this cutting works, but I'll cut a small piece off and see what it, how well it sticks. Didn't test that. I mean, I want it to stick, but uh, I wanted to be able to pull it off the backing. Pretty sure that that's possible. But I don't want to screw up this nice foil, so I'll get some new foil. Uh, so let me see. I'm gonna spray glue it over here so I don't contaminate this. Should dry up rather quick. I'm just gonna roll it in just as firmly. Now the thing is, this should I hope let's make it a little bit smaller because now so I got this material and lay it down. See if I'm able to transfer it. Hopefully, the backing does not come off, but it actually is that a problem? No, when I think of it, it's not. So, when I rip it off, the backing comes along. I hope it wouldn't, but a matter of fact, it is. It's even better. But I do need to be able to get this piece of tape off without too much destruction. I can. It's not it leaves some wrin um, wrinkles, which is too bad. So it sticks a little bit too too well. So I might need to make it less sticky. So let's see if I make a pattern in here, uh, for instance, this and then uh, that. <laughs> it's not nice, but. And when I weed it, that's how it's called. Apparently. So I weed the cut up material out. Let's do another one here. It's just a small test before I do this whole thing because then I drop on this piece of transfer tape, roll it on, now I 
hope I can get this off with with the aluminum in place. So it does not do that anymore. So it's not sticky enough. No, that sucks. So I should not like try to make it less sticky. It needs to be that sticky. So I'm gonna take a new piece. You think what the fuck are you doing? Well, I don't know. So we got our new foil, our transfer foil, which hopefully This is always shit. Ah, oh, it's quite okay. New transfer foil. So, now hopefully I can get this off with the aluminum foil. Then you got the pattern on here and one of the backing foil did got removed but in this case I could store it like this so I could now remove the backing foil at least I should proof of concept before I go into the shed so I removed it I still got my transfer paper and with uh, aluminium foil and the sticky side is on on this side. So now if I grab some mylar, so here we got a piece of mylar. Not at all nice, but let's say this is a membrane. Well, it is a membrane. But now I should be able to stick this on, on there. And now we should be able to remove the transfer foil without removing the aluminium, uh, aluminium foil again with it because the adhesion of the aluminium, aluminium foil is stronger than that's our transfer, it's empty so that's good let's see if we can remove the mylar I mean I'm not gonna do it like this, I'm gonna do it on a stretched foil there you have it it's attached Okay, so that's the method. <clears throat> so now I can go outside and try it with a really cut foil. Is this long enough? Yes. So I need to cut this one down. Ah, there we have it. Two rolls of these. So this works as transfer film, which is good. And it works because the aluminium foil has a way stronger adhesive on the back side. So when you remove the backing, so it's all, it's all, okay, so this adhesive needs to be stronger than the adhesive to the mat, the spray glue I use. And then afterwards, the adhesive from the aluminium, aluminium foil itself, which is under this bluish backing paper, needs to be stronger as 
this adhesion so it will transfer to the next su uh, substrate. Sounds very complicated, but it, it's actually not. But in the end, if one of those is not correct, you will end up uh, with the foil being on, on a substrate you don't want it to be. Uh, so if this one was really strong, it would stick to this and would not come off anymore. So it's like steps, steps up. Weak, stronger, strongest. So now I can go outside. I'm pretty confident if the cutting uh, goes according to plan that it should work. Nice.